Hey YouTube, today I thought I would show you how to fix a uh, Cisco 7960 and 7940 IP phone. So the two most common problems with this actual phone, this model phone, they actually seem to fix the problems in the 7961 and 7962 series, so it's not... the problems usually only affect these phones, the 7940 and the 7960. So the two most common problems are this this lift stand, the stand, the actual inside, the connector inside breaks, which is very annoying. I probably have about 200 of these phones in my office that are all have different problems similar to this. This or the other common problem is this little, uh, the hook switch. So you take your handset off the phone and it doesn't go off hook and you can't make a phone call. It doesn't know that you took the, the, hand, the handset off the, it didn't know you, hey, pull the handset off the actual connector thing. So, um, let me show you how to take this thing apart. So, okay, there's actually the first thing you want to do is take this back plate off. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing. There's two little tabs you got to hit right here. One on this side and one on that side. That takes the actual base off right there and there's four screws. And there's two more screws under these little like rubber tabs. You just gotta peel it back and get to the screw. Okay. Screw. Now best to get the screws out we're trying to pull this out. Let's see, make sure I get that all out. This one's still stuck in there. Okay, so the key is here you have to lift it back up and you need to kind of slide and pull backwards because there's like there's two things in here up on the front that actually kind of keep the top open. So you just gotta kind of wiggle it and kind of be careful at the same time. There we go. Okay. So this is the actual tab that breaks on this thing. So here's the actual thing that the uh, hooks that holds the uh, the stand in the back. And what happens is this little plastic tab it actually breaks. So what you can do is either super glue this tab back on there. Some people I've seen put tape on there, or you can just buy a new one. And the new one probably costs about three dollars. So you can go online, just do a Google search, and you can find them about three bucks. So, and the other most common problem is this little hook switch, and this is actually a pretty easy fix usually. So all you have to do is pop this little tab up, there's like a little spring loaded thing right there, pop the tab up, and you can clean this contact right here. So sometimes you, what you can do is get a, get a little Q-tip in there with a little cotton or like a little alcohol and slide it up under there. So you lift this thing up. Take the hook switch thing off. And I don't know if you can see that, but get like a small little piece of, uh, get some rubbing alcohol and get it under that rubber so it cleans the contact. And once you do that, usually the, the hook switch actually, that fixes the hook switch. So that's usually a pretty easy fix. Um, that's usually just dirt or whatever gets in there and then, you know, some alcohol will clean it. Um, but on this thing, you'll have to physically either buy a new part or glue it or do something because, you know, that's actually broken plastic, so. Um, and then, you know, to put it back together, it's the exact same, you know, in the reverse. Just kind of be nice and gentle with it and kind of slide it back up and get it in there. So, yeah, I mean, I've actually personally fixed hundreds of these phones, so um, that's how I usually fix them. So either get the new hand, the new plastic piece, or I just clean the contact and... Um, you get a brand new phone again, not brand new, but at least, you know, I get a working phone again and I can resell it, so, um, alright, that's how I do it.